Welcome to our channel and in this video I will tell you about the MENA protocol and Ad Astra. First, please notice our disclaimer, I am not a financial advisor and this video is for informational and educational purposes only. Alright, now let's dive right into this video and before we start I do want to say that all the links you will need for MENA and Ad Astra will be down in the description. So check those out. First, I wanted to talk a little bit about MENA protocol, an amazing project in the crypto sphere. It's quite big, so you might have heard about it, but we'll talk about a little bit what it is, what it does and how it works. So here you can see their website. You can find information for developers. So if you're a developer, check that out. You can find out more about what they're about. We'll talk about that a little bit later. Their technology, the community and their own blog, which I would definitely recommend you to check that out. But first, let's actually take a look at what MENA exactly is. So MENA protocol is on a mission, a mission to create a vibrant, decentralized network and open programmable currency so we can all participate, build, exchange and thrive. So MENA started as a new open source project to design a layer one protocol that could deliver on the original promise of blockchain true decentralization skill and security the whole triangle and mina is trying to fix that all so their key point is that rather than apply brute computing force mina offers an elegant solution using advanced cryptography and recursive zero knowledge technology and more about that zero knowledge technology a little bit later because that's actually very interesting so at mina the developers built powerful zk zero knowledge apps or decentralized apps based on zero knowledge as i said so their users can take advantage of decentralized applications without compromising their privacy or security that's one of their main focuses too so it's secured by participants it enables an uncapped number of block producers via proof of stake consensus which is a uniquely decentralized blockchain most blockchains only have a couple of validators while mina has hundreds of them hundreds of block producers and snark producers to increase that decentralization privacy and security so as we said mina is a layer one protocol designed to deliver on the original promise of a blockchain true decentralization, skill and security. So in theory, blockchains are designed to be held accountable by its users, but most blockchains actually aren't. MENA is because anyone can enforce the rules by validating an irrevocable public ledger and power remains in the hands of many and not the few. As I said, right now, most blockchains don't actually do that. With legacy blockchains like Bitcoin and Ethereum, when a new participant joins, they have to check every transaction since the beginning of the network to verify correctness, which amounts to hundreds of gigabytes of data. And most people can't actually afford that computational power. So what MENA does and more about that, it uses zero knowledge proofs. And what that exactly is, is that any participant just needs a small amount of data like this. Nodes can then store a small proof, a small proof of data as opposed to the entire chain, which most blockchains do. And because it's a consistent size, that proof, Mina stays accessible. Even if it scales too many users and accumulates years of transactional data, what happens is that the more users there are, the more secure and decentralized the platform actually becomes. So a little bit more about those zero knowledge apps. And before we start, I do want to say that all the links, again, will be down in the description about MENA protocol, but also about Ad Astra, which we will get to a little bit later. So MENA's zero knowledge apps are zero knowledge powered smart contracts, and they are Turing complete like other smart contracting languages, but because they have a zero knowledge capability, they bring along additional features such as privacy and off-chain computation. So some of the unique properties of these zero knowledge apps are, are that they preserve users privacy, they can execute unlimited off-chain computations at a, at a flat fee, and then they'll get transferred on-chain. They can also connect Web 2 to Web 3, which is, I think, one of the most important things. They can also be accessed from other chains and devices, which is definitely needed in this crypto world we have with a lot of different chains. So what it essentially does is it employs an off-chain model where only a flat fee is required to send the resulting zero-knowledge proof to the chain. And they're written using Snarky.js, a TypeScript library that leverages zero-knowledge proofs. Now, if you want to know more about it, and if you actually want to start using Mina's zero-knowledge apps, check out this link right here about the writing zero knowledge apps there you can find out what it essentially is again how to write it how to test it and how to actually deploy that yourself apart from that i would also definitely recommend you to follow mina protocol on twitter here you will find out all the news around mina protocol some interesting developments and announcements so you can find them on twitter at mina protocol so now i want to talk a little bit about ad astra and again all the links about ad astra will also be down in the description so ad astra is the first ever crypto integrated yes you heard it correctly meditation app 
that is owned by the community. It's the most decentralized meditation app out there at this point of time, which I think is very exciting. And here you can see their website. It's at astrawellbeing.tech. You can find out some of the features, partnerships, NFTs, because they're releasing their own NFT collection, which actually allows you to earn some passive income. White paper, which is definitely good to check out too. And you can actually download it right now in the Google Play Store and the App Store. So I think this is a great concept because meditation is getting more popular and popular in the world. So Ad Astra, with being the first crypto meditation app, actually is jumping into a hole, which I think could become very fruitful for them. So basically what it is, it's a meditation based app uh, in which content creators upload guided meditation audio and users pay a subscription fee to access the premium content. And then those content creators are then rewarded with royalty ba payments based on the performance of their content. But apart from that, they will also release an NFT collection and this will be used for the funding of the project. But if you own an NFT, you will also get passive income and that's actually income generated by the people who have that subscription fee. So there's a real business model and you will actually earn real revenue of the company, which I think is a great way of actually deploying an NFT collection. And it's definitely something to check out. All right, so with that, we've reached the end of this video. We talked about the Mina protocol and we also talked about Ad Astra, which is a very interesting upcoming project. If you found this video helpful, please make sure to add a like and add comments with questions I might have missed and subscribe to our channel.